Are you the friend who is super excited when the group text gets sent out for the girls trip? And then all of a sudden you slowly kind of step back from the chat because you're starting to feel like you're not gonna be able to make this trip happen. And then everybody's excited about going and unfortunately you started to completely ghost your friends because you don't really wanna tell them you're gonna back out again. If that's you, this video is for you. My name is Inez, I'm a travel coach and I help black women confidently take the trips they want and they need. So if that's something that you are interested in, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. All right, so I know a lot of you who do this, right? You are the friend who really wants to go on the girls trips, but you always somehow end up having to come up with some excuse for why you can't go, right? So maybe something came up, right? or you forgot something was on your schedule, or you couldn't find the money, or something, right? It's always something, and you kind of feel bad about it, right? Because you really do wanna go, but something always blocks you from going, right? So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the five steps you need to take to make sure that you are no longer that friend, right? You're no longer the friend that people like, we can't invite her, but you know she ain't going, right? You don't want to be that friend, all right? So these are the steps you need to take. The first step you need to take is decide that you are going, right? And the difference between saying that you're going and deciding that you're going is that when you make a decision, there's no going back, right? By decide, I mean commit, meaning by any means, you are going to make this trip happen. You're no longer going to waver on, should I go, shouldn't I go, can I go, can't I go, decide. I am going, period. Once you make the decision to go, then you can just remove all of the stress about if you should go and move on to how you're going to make it happen, right? If you can focus all of your energy on the how and not be focused on the if, then you can make some movements and make and build some momentum to be able to really get on the trip. So that's the first thing you need to do. Really decide, cut off all other options once you decide. When you decide to go, there's no longer an option for you to back out. Right? There's no longer an option for you not to go. It's a requirement. Think about if you had to go somewhere for your job and you decided you were going, you wouldn't just be like, well, I don't know. I hope I can't. No, you would be going because it would be a requirement for your job. So make it a requirement for yourself as well and decide to go. Right. The next step that you need to do is you need to choose the next best step. Right. So it's going to be different for everyone. But don't worry about doing the right thing, right? People get caught up in, I don't know how to plan the trip. I don't know how to save the money. I don't know how to make this happen. You don't have to know how. You just have to decide you're going and choose what you believe is the next best thing for you to do, right? So if you feel like I'm going and you have a, a, a thought come in your mind of, I don't know how I'm going to get the money for this trip, turn that thought into a question, how am I going to get the money for this trip? Then answer the question about what are your options? Do you have travel points that you could take advantage of, right? Do you have some additional money that you're spending on something else, like, you know, subscriptions that you don't need that you could put towards a trip, right? Do you have something that you could sell to be able to make some additional money? Whatever it is, like what are the options? And then once you see your options, choose the option you want to pursue, right? Decide, okay, maybe it's the travel points. Maybe I need to build up more of my travel points, right? Choose that option and move forward in building up your travel points, right? That's it. If you're saying, well, I don't know where I want to go, right? Like, you know, we're going on the trip, um, well, I guess if you're going on a girl's trip, you know exactly where you're going. So maybe you're talking about like, I don't know how I'm going to make time in my schedule, right? I don't know how I'm going to get, you know, for instance, if you're a mom like me, 
how am I going to have a week away to be able to spend in Bali with my best friend for her 40th birthday? And I have two children and a husband. How, Sway? <laughs> right? So when that question comes up, answer the question. What are some of the options you have? Do they have grandparents they can go to? Do you have friends that have kids that wouldn't mind having them there for a little while? Right? Like, do you have an actual husband who can and is capable of taking care of his kids? Just in case you were wondering without you right that you need to just set the expectation train him up so that when you're gone he can take over like what is it that you need to do what are your real options right and when you're when you're talking about your real options explore the real options not just the options that you're comfortable with doing right if you're not comfortable with leaving them home with your husband that doesn't mean it's not an option that means you need to get comfortable. You need to do what you need to do and he need to do what he need to do so that y'all both can get very comfortable, right? Or, you know, if, you know, there's an option of leaving it with the grandparents, but you are uncomfortable with asking for help, that doesn't mean that's not an option. That means you need to get comfortable. Actually, you don't need to get comfortable. You need to do it anyway. <laughs> do it scared, do it uncomfortable, right? And just explore that as an option, right? So that is that is the second step. The first step is decide you're going. The second step is to choose the next best step that is dependent upon who you are or what is going to be the blocker for you specifically. And then step number three is to take the next best step, right? So after you choose it, do it, right? So if you're saying, all right, I need to build my travel points up, Right, so that I can use points and I don't have to use cash in order to go on this trip. Create a system, right? Consistently do it. One of the things that I do is I will um, pay for my regular bills, the bills that cost the same every month on my travel credit card and pay it off so that I can build my points faster. I'm gonna pay them bills anyway. Might as well get some rewards for them, right? Or I have a, I have a separate account for just my bills than I do for my operations. And the amount of money in there is set. So, you know, sometimes your utility bills will fluctuate high and low. So sometimes that account has more money in it than it needs. And I have an app that I use. It used to be called Digit. It's now called Opportune. And I use that app to pull out any extra so that I don't spend that extra. And when I look up to go travel, I have $400, $500 sitting there waiting to be spent on something right so take the next step like start doing the things that is going to help you overcome that obstacle right the next step step number four is solve every problem now anytime you're going to take a trip anytime you're going to plan a trip anytime travel is involved problems are going to show up they're going to show up in your life they're going to show up in the logistics of the trip they're going to show up in the group of girls that you're going with that the problems are going to show up they're going to show up in your mind they're going to show up in your pto balance they're going to show up in your travel they're just going to show up everywhere right what i want you to do is identify the problems right they're coming up they're going to show up but don't stop at identifying them solve them right don't just point them out and say oh that came up it's a problem don't just complain about what is happening solve the problem what is the solution what do you need to do in order to solve the problem and do it until the problem is solved right so if you decide that you want to take a certain action and it doesn't solve the problem you can't stop there keep going until you find the thing that solves the problem okay the next and fifth and final step is what I just said, and it is keep going. Step number five is keep going, right? Do not stop. Keep doing each of these steps until you're on the flight, until the flight is in the air and you are going to your destination. Keep doing it. Keep deciding over and over and over that you're going redecide every time once you make a decision that you're going consistently redecide even when the things come up decide again i'm going so i just need to focus on how i'm going so i just need to focus on how i'm going so i just need to choose the next step i'm going so i just need to take the next best step i'm going so i need to just solve all the problems right 
continuously do that over and over and over and you will indeed, I promise you, make it to your next girl trip. I promise you. I promise you. Okay. I hope this video was helpful for you. Let me know what your biggest takeaway was. If you like this video, I know you are one of my people. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so that you are aware when I drop more videos on how to transform your life through travel and how to take the vacations and the momcations that you want and that you need, okay? If you wanna see more of me figuring out how to take the momcation and the vacations that I want and need, make sure you go follow me on Instagram at International Inez. Until we meet again, stay tripping.